And I was talking to Doug on your team, and he was telling us you have one of the best potential nickel projects in Canada or North America. Well, we actually have two. Uh, both the, the Albert Lake project and the Gochagger Lake project, we consider, we consider both of them uh, sort of equal opportunity in terms of potential grade. Fine nickel, great trading symbol, FNI, on the Canadian Stock Exchange or also on the OTC uh, QB. Your two projects you were just referencing are in Saskatchewan. Can you give us an overview? Thank you. Yeah, uh, as you said, both projects are in Saskatchewan. The, the Gochagger Lake project is about 75 kilometers north of La Ronge, and then 60 kilometers north of the Gochagger project is our Albert Lake project. And you just put out news uh, just this last, what, this last week uh, about a survey you're doing. Would you like to provide more details on that? Yes, we're, we're doing geophysics at the uh, Gochagger Lake project uh, currently as, as we speak. And this is the second round of the borehole EM. We, we did this for the first time in February uh, while we were out there drilling our, our, our first two holes. And we had some absolutely fantastic responses. And so what we've decided to do is do another round of this survey, but using a, a elevated level of equipment and a little bit more uh, methodology. So we're trying to <clears throat> increase the uh, the understanding of the signal by by utilizing uh, three individual loops on surface and, and this is going to give us a much better understanding of the geometry of these uh, massive sulfide semi-massive sulfide lenses that we've detected in in our drill holes we just finished hosting the critical minerals institute summit in toronto and we had numerous investment bankers there talking about the benefits of investing in companies that have projects in Saskatchewan and who are involved in the critical mineral sector, which clearly you are. Can you tell our audience how Fathom Nickel is planning on taking advantage of these opportunities? Well, in the province of Saskatchewan, it, it's a tremendous jurisdiction. It, it's consistently ranked in the top three in the world by the Fraser Institute in terms of places to explore. So the you know, the the permitting, the processing, and, and and it's just very, very simple to get onto the ground. But Saskatchewan, I mean, this is absolutely fascinating. It's relatively un, underexplored for nickel, copper, and, and PGEs. And it's always fascinated us is, you know, why would, you know, things like the Thompson Nickel Camp and, and you know, the why does nickel mineralization stop at the Saskatchewan Manitoba border? And, and, and it obviously doesn't because we, we have nickel at, at both properties, but we're, we're trying to demonstrate that these can develop into significant nickel camps, something potentially like Thompson in Manitoba and the Raglan Belt in, in Northern Quebec, because we're, it, everything <clears throat> falls into the trans Hudson orogeny. So the, it, it makes a lot of sense that there should be significant nickel in Saskatchewan. Well, speaking of significant is the interest we're receiving about nickel in general. Thank you so much for joining us today, Ian, and for everybody interested in Fathom Nickel, please go to their following website. Thank you.